Hello everyone! I'm here at the Hoylake Lifeboat Station where I'm going to go sailing on this huge lifeboat behind me. Lifeboats are very important boats because they are life-saving boats. They rescue people who are in trouble out at sea. And look! This massive tractor is used to take the boat down to the beach and launch it into the sea. Just look at those caterpillar tracks! But the lifeboat wouldn't be any use without the amazing crew that sail her and look after her. Here come the crew now to get ready for launch. These crew members are real life superheroes who give up their free time to save people who are in trouble at sea. Today they're doing a training exercise. Look at the lifeboat coming out of the station now! The tractor is pushing it out of the station and down the ramp to the beach. Those caterpillar tracks are perfect for travelling along the sandy, muddy beach. The crew are also launching a hovercraft today. A hovercraft is an amphibious vehicle. Do you know what amphibious means? It means something that can go on land and in the water. all of these levers and switches. It all looks very complicated. Nick is the pilot and it's his job to fly the hovercraft. To start the engine, Nick turns this key. We can't see them, but underneath the hovercraft are two fans which blow air downwards. This fills the skirt with air making the hovercraft lift off the ground. Wowzers trousers! The big fans at the back are called the thrust propellers and these push the hovercraft forwards. When Nick moves this lever, the rudders at the back move. It's these rudders that steer the hovercraft left and right. Nick makes the fans move faster and the hovercraft glides forwards. Woo, that is amazing! As commander of the hovercraft, it's Chris's job to check all around and give Nick instructions to help him fly the hovercraft safely. It's so fast and it's so noisy. Now I know why these gecko helmets have microphones and headphones built into them. They allow us to talk and listen to each other. It feels like we're floating across the sand. And just like that, we're on the water. This hovercraft is amazing! Here comes the lifeboat and the tractor. The tractor can go deep into the water to launch the lifeboat smoothly into the sea. The trailer tilts and the boat just slides off. Here we go, we're out at sea. This Shannon class lifeboat can go really fast so that they can get to people in trouble as quickly as possible. This is Andy, he's the coxswain which means he's in charge of the lifeboat today. And this is Matt the deputy coxswain and driver of the boat. What are you doing now, Andy? Now we're going to do a manoeuvre board exercise. What will happen is one of our guys will go in the water now and then we'll pick them up. This brave member of the crew has volunteered to get in the cold water so that the rest of the crew can practice how to pull somebody out again. On the boat! Yeah. 
they use a special harness and ropes to pull him out as quickly and safely as possible. Just look at how the crew all work together as a team to rescue him. The RNLI is a charity set up to save lives at sea. And these training exercises help the team here get ready for real life search and rescue missions. So to be as prepared as they possibly can be, the team practice, practice, practice. Today they're practicing how to rescue someone who is stuck in the mud. Playing in deep mud near the sea can be very dangerous especially if the tide is coming in. Now that's what I call getting stuck in. Tides are the rise and fall of the levels of the sea. This is something that's happening all of the time, which means that if you're stuck in the mud on the beach, the tide might come in and surround you with water. It's very important to respect the water and make sure you check when the tide is coming in to make sure you're safe when you're at the beach. Well done team, another successful training mission. Oh dear, it looks like the mechanicals haven't checked the tide times and they're stranded on this island. It looks like there's a storm coming too. Luckily, the hovercraft is the perfect rescue vehicle. Jump aboard, mechanicals! Do you want to have a look inside the lifeboat? Come on! Andy's going to give us a quick tour. So the first seat we come to is a crew seat or a doctor's seat. So if we have to take a doctor out, the, the doctor would sit there. Then we've got Alistair sitting here. He's the navigator today. So he's keeping us safe and in deep water. As we come further back, we've got the coxswain's seat. So the coxswain sits in the middle of the boat and he's able to look at everything that's going on around the boat. Alongside the coxswain we have the mechanic seat, he's looking after the engines and he has all the controls he needs for, uh, for operating anything we need during the journey out to rescue someone. We've got the radar seat, the radar is a, is a great piece of equipment, the radar will see in the dark or it will see through fog when, uh, when we can't see anything. And then we have the helmsman seat, this is where the, the lifeboat's driven from. At the minute, there's no one sitting in here because the lifeboat's getting driven from uh, on deck. Thanks for the tour, Andy. The tractor's waiting for us on the beach, ready to tow the boat back up to the station. Well, uh, Matt, we're about to hit the beach. You better slow down. Uh, Matt. Ah! Oh. We're okay. Ah, I see. That was supposed to happen. The lifeboat's very strong and it's designed to hit the beach at speed. Now the tractor can come along and tow the boat up and onto the trailer. As well as the crew on the boat, there is also a shore crew who make sure that the launch and recovery go smoothly. Wow. That's like magic. The trailer can spin the boat around in a circle so that she's facing the right way out to sea for the next rescue mission. A long day at sea, now it's time to head back. But the lifeboat's all dirty and the tractor and tracks. So the crew at the station all wash, scrub and clean they really look after their rescue machine. It's very important to look after the boat so that she works for a long, long time. The crew take great pride in looking after the lifeboat 
because they know she's special. The crew are members of the RNLI, which is a charity where kind people donate money to buy equipment, like this beautiful boat. And it's these brave volunteers who go out and rescue people. I've had a fantastic time with the crew of the RNLI Hoylake on board this incredible boat. Thanks everyone for watching. Bye! If you love this video, tap here so you're the first to know about my latest videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.